Hi, this is Carolyn Kinane with the Contemplative Sciences Center at the University of Virginia. And this is the seventh in a series of eight videos on contemplative course design. This is a reflective exercise for instructors to get at your core job description. This exercise comes from Mary Rose O'Reilly. Uh, in her book, Radical Presence, she is describing a crisis of identity, of overwhelm with workload and family and so on. And she writes, Somewhere in the middle of this crisis, the idea of composing a job description for myself occurred to me. I decided to write down a sentence that reflected my clearest sense of the task. Then I could feel that whatever else got screwed up, I had been faithful to some inner light. Peaceful listening, I wrote on a three by five card and tacked it over my desk. The phrase helped me to pull my days together. When all the phones were ringing, committee meetings, students lining up, I could tell myself the only thing that needs to happen is peaceful listening. I appreciate this exercise because I, I think it's a way to focus on um, something that I might have control over, my attitude, my disposition towards the way that I do my work. What gets done is not always in my control, but how I do it is. And so I hope this exercise helps you to reflect on how you wish to be with your work and to develop a core job description for yourself. I invite you to grab a pen and some paper and take as much time as you wish, reflecting on the following prompts. When I am my best self, I am blank, blank, and blank with difficult people, ideas, and situations. Filling in the blank as you wish. Five years out, which words do I hope come to mind as colleagues and students remember me? Which attitudes or dispositions do I want to bring to myself, other people, ideas, and experiences? And so feel free to hit pause and take a bit of time to reflect on these questions. And when you've had a chance to do so, perhaps come up with a one, two, or three word job description, write it down and place it in a place of prominence to ground you during times of disruption, agitation, whether it is something like Mary Rose O'Reilly's kind listening, or for a little while, mine was a joyous badass. <laughs> um, Write down something that can bring you back to check in with your values and your intention in that contemplative pause. We have that inquiry phase, and I would frequently come back to this core job description at that inquiry moment that helped me check in and use that moment as a way to live with integrity. So thank you so much for your time, and our next uh, slide is closing advice and work cited. Thank you.